Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to add custom filters based on date and time. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to create search view in the left side of the list view, please check link is given in the description. If you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo 1718 development tutorial. Right now, we are working on this playlist. If you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning, you can visit this playlist because this is the main playlist and those are the topic wise sub playlist available all right so let's back to our main topic guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will help me a lot plus you will get the latest notification about the upcoming sessions so let's say here in the student profile right last time we discussed about this implement the left side search view implementation in this discussion i'm going to show you how we can also add an date related operations in the filter right let's say i want to check uh in within a seven days how many students created or in a 30 days how many students is created right or let's say in a one year how many students is created so this is the simplest calculation we will do in in the filter in the search view i mean all right so for that i have to go to in here custom add-ons student views and the student here you can see this is our search right and simple here i will add here one more field which is field name equal to create underscore date that's it but not like this way okay so we can just use filter name equal to we can use create that right then after a string create that and here we have to use that okay as I attribute and here we provide that specific field name which we are trying to do some operations okay so now I'm going to upgrade the module so for that I'm going to here in the PyCharm configuration if you don't know how to configure or do in pycharm please check at a level playlist i already explained everything now once i will refresh the screen you can see here create that right once i click here you can see different types of filters available for the date right you can see by default it's a january december november right three months display then after all four quarters is display here and let's say current year and previous two years also visible here so how many created in the 2023 how many created in 24 or let's say how many records created in 25 right you can see here the filters let's say the quarter of one how many created you can see here by default quarter is the current uh, current year quarter all right so let's say if I will apply like this, so you can see here the quarter is also apply and you can see which year they are using, right? Then after four and five, like this. And but if you click here, right? If you choose this one, then it will select the 25 November. But let's say if you choose here like this, right? And the November, it will display this one and you can see here 11th month 26 that 2024 this student is created right so like this way you can add data uh, date related filters right now what about exit current days below 50 days i want to see the result right so in this case this filter is not useful right so for that we have to do some custom filter which is again we need to use here date and time and date, uh, time delta related operations so for that let's filter name okay then after let's say seven days string seven seven days then after date which date i want to use so this one right here we have to do doping okay 
in the domain we have to pass and yes one more thing is if you're using filter with the domain right this dead filter we don't need to use or else it will again display all the filters so here let's say create underscore dead right here greater than sorry the greater than equal to like this way it's not working so for that we must have to use the xml supported symbols right greater than so gt means greater than and before gt we have to use and operation and the semicolon after the word right greater than here let's say dead time dot dead time combined and here we have to pass current date today minus relative delta and simple we have to pass here seven days right if you want to so let's say the create date is the date and time field right so you want to add exact with the time also right then we have to use here comma date time dot time and let's say 23 comma 59 comma 59 right and simple we have to convert into utc like this way ah uh, don't worry about this stuff because this is also available in the community add-ons once you search only this data and date time like this so you will also get the result right uh let's say the seven days let me restart the service and upgrade the module and refresh the screen okay now you can see the seven days right once i click here within a seven days right i can see only one student is created and which is today right and you can see here so you can if you calculate like within a seven days only you can see from here to here this is created from the january right but today i just created this record and before seven days i didn't create single record so that's the reason i'm not getting any result right only i'm getting the one record all right so you can see here now let's say let's increase this from seven days to let's say 14 days right and let's say 14 days and simple we this is the main logic okay so this is the main logic to calculate current date all right so here the for the main logic we have to implement here only not here because this is the static data i have to provide right and let's also apply here 30 days 30 days and this one should be the unique right let me upgrade the module once i will refresh the screen and now you can see 7 days 40 days and 30 days right so within a 40 days you can see only one but if you see here 30 days right so 13th record is i'm getting like 13 records you can see here within 30 days i have created like 13 students so like this way you can add filters now let's say these filters let's say you want to add inside here right your custom filter then how you can do it so it's a very simple you can just use something like this and add this one under this filter that's it and let me upgrade the module let me refresh the screen right you can see here that 30 days is gone but if you see here the 30 days available here right you can see it will apply the same here 
right? 30 days. Another thing is you want to increase this month, right? Or the year that is also possible. How you can see here. Here we have to apply one attribute, which is the start month, right? And here we have to provide non zero integer value. Okay. If you provide minus three, so that means current month is January, right? 25. So it will display like January, December, right? November and October. Right? Plus the January. Like this way. But this is the 24. 24. 24. Like this. So let me upgrade the module. You can see January, December and November, right? Once I will refresh the screen. And now you can see January, December, November and October, right? So this is for the starting month. Uh, let's say, what about the end month? So let's say it's uh, minus three again. So what it is like January, 25, February and March, right? If you are using, sorry. If you are using three only, let me refresh the screen. Oh, sorry, including the March. Sorry, my bad. So you can see like this from January to th three months ahead, right? So till April. And from January to till uh, minus three months. So it's a December, November and October, like this one, right? You can add like this one. Plus, let's say if you want to add increase or decrease the years right here, let's say start year one. So let's see the first result, right? Right now, you can see 25, 24, and 23. Right? It's gone. Because the current year is this one. Right? Now, let's say if you use like minus 2. Right? So, let's see the result. See, 24 and 23 is available, right? After, let's say, end year, right? So, let's say, end user, let's say, two years ahead, or let's say, five years ahead, right? So, let's restart the service and upgrade the module and let's refresh the screen. And you can see here. It's increasing number of years, right? And another thing is, we don't need to use here, but let's inside this filter, we can use because all this date related operations, I'm only using for this create that, right? So that's why I'm using like that and refresh the screen and all my custom filters available here, 14 days, seven days or 30 days, right? like this way so like this way you can add custom date and time filters using the filter tag specifically this date attribute okay and yes of course without that attribute you can also add the current domain right so i hope you understood about this topic in case you still have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session would be once you refresh the screen or let's say if you redirect to this page right so by default you want to 
group by school or group by with the filter right how you can do it the default filters apply we will see in our next session